Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. And today we're going to be finishing up the final installment for this Exploding Love Letter Stack album. And I will just give everybody a few minutes to get here. In the meanwhile, I will go setting up my phone so that I can see the chat and I'm able to answer you guys' questions. So hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day today. And I wanna say thank you so much for being here. I greatly do appreciate it. And here we go. Hello, hello, Janet. How are you doing, my love? Hopefully you're doing great. So today we're going to be uh, more or less finishing up the album. What we have left to do, we have left to cover uh, the spine here. And we also have to cover the inside of the covers. I've already gone ahead and cut myself some parts. We're also going to be covering up the crown on the back, as well as adding a few other embellishments here and there. Hello, Lady J. How are you? And so I have some pieces that I've already pre-cut. I've been playing with my Cricut today and I've got some beautiful um, shapes and die cuts that we're going to be using. I've got some metallic ones, going to be attempting to make some butterflies to adorn this thing. Let me get my glue. I'm gonna need my ink so that I can go ahead and um, edge up these corners. Just have to find it because I've been changing some stuff around. So everything is in the opposite place now. <laughs> so far, so good. Enjoying this Saturday. It's been really, really nice so far. So I want, I'm going to cover up some of these gold pieces that... um. Because this is really not this is not really like a gold theme type of um, album. None of the pages really have any gold on the inside. Um, and pretty much, as you guys know, you can use this from the front or from the back. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover up some of these little gold um, pieces that are here, and I'll start by doing that. I'm gonna get some double sided tape and just kind of cover those little pieces up. Gonna cut myself out some really shiny trim. This is like Dollar Tree um, ribbon. How many pieces is it? One, two, three. Oh, so it's three pieces. That should be about good then. Let's go ahead and just kind of distress this just a little bit. So it kind of looks like it's been torn and jagged so if you guys can kind of see that i'm just going to distress the ends a little bit just to look a little bit you know kind of crazy let me see if i can take this focus auto focus off give me one second you guys i really dislike the auto focus <laughs> It zooms in and out. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. You know I was going to come live today. You know I was going to come live today, girl. What the heck are my... Do -do -do -do. I don't know why this thing is auto focusing. Let me see if I can get into these. Um, shouldn't be auto focusing. Let's see. Give me one second, you guys. Oh, it's got auto focus on. <laughs> That's why. All right, I took the auto focus off. So hopefully. All right. Awesome. <laughs> So who else is here? 
Um, hi, Davida Lane. Thanks for joining us. So let me put this to the side. So right now what I'm doing is I just got some really glittery um, trim because I'm going to cover up some of those little gold bits because I don't really care for them too much. Plus, they don't have really nothing to do with uh, the theme of this. I just like the paper, so. But the paper, unfortunately, came with gold, so <laughs> I'm going to cover that up because that kind of throws everything a little bit off for me. So I'm just kind of distressing, just distressing the ends that we're going to see a little bit so that I can cover up some of those little gold bits um, that are like rip tape on the front because it has like this little thing here on the cover and I don't really like it too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some double-sided tape to those pieces and I'm gonna adhere that. And then I will show you guys um, what I got, what I did with my Cricut today. I'm having so much fun with that machine. Jeez Louise, I should have got that like eons ago. But I am discovering a plethora of things to do. So I'm going to put that right into the, right in here. Let me just see if I can lift this up a little bit. That doesn't really help. Um, what can I add? What can I add? What can I add? Maybe a sponge? Yeah, that'll work. So I got my double-sided tape on. This one, I got to distress the other end. Just kind of zigzagging it back and forth. And I'm going to put that right there. Covering up that gold bit. Perfect. Um, this one you're going to be able to see also. So let me just, again, just kind of zigzag and distress that a little bit. Oh, yes. I'm a little disappointed because I do have the older model and the program that um, it kind of uses that Craft Room Explorer. It's not going to be available anymore, effective um, July. But I'm learning how to use the machine without that. I'm actually starting to just use the machine straight and playing with the actual controls. So that hopefully I don't miss that program too much <laughs> once it's all gone. Let's see. All right. So now instead of gold, we have some shiny. Hopefully you guys can see. Hopefully you guys are in good frame. Yes. Um, now I, instead of having that, I have some little shiny bits here. Let me get my little pieces out of the way. Okay. So we have that going. Now, this is what I did so far. Just put this phone somewhere where I can see. Um, I got me some polka dot paper that I'm going to cover the insides with. I also went ahead and cut out some really cool shapes. Um, I'm thinking about setting this off in the inside, but I'm thinking I might actually make this maybe somewhat of a pocket. So I might just end up using one and just cutting it in half so that there's some kind of a pocket element so that if you want to tuck something in there, um, you can do that. I've also gone ahead and traced out my crown and um, I have these now. So I cut out three pieces and I have these now. I might also be adding maybe not this piece because it might be a little too short, but I might also go ahead and incorporate a little bit of lace on the top just to kind of get that going. And um, I got some other pieces here just in case because I wasn't really quite sure what I was going to be using, but I'm going to try to make some butterflies out of something else. Um, out of some other shapes that I print, that I cut out today, but these are gorgeous. I mean, I'm like ugh, in love right now. Like, look how intricate that is. Had I known what this machine was capable of, I honestly think that I would have 
instead of investing money into dyes and die cutting machines, you know, that the crank ones, I would have been investing money into cartridges <laughs> and the and the cricket, any of those machines that accept those crickets, um, those cartridges would have been just fine. And I would have inv been investing in that from the beginning and saved myself, you know, the hand cranking and the <laughs> holding it and stabilizing it and all of that good stuff. <laughs> Wow. Not good. Not good, Jackie. Not good. Um, so I got some pieces, the same pieces that I cut in black. I also went ahead and cut it out in like um in silver. And you might be able to see this more maybe against something like this. So I'm gonna make some butterflies out of these shapes. I kept all the little inner bits too, just in case I could add I could probably make some other kind of embellishments out of it. But I'm thinking I can use two of these to make a really pretty butterfly. So I'm going to make a butterfly out of that. And I've cut out a few of those so that I can make um, some for the inside, some for the outside. So we'll see. We'll see how it all goes down. So the first thing I'm going to do before I even keep going is I'm going to reinforce my crown. I'm going to reinforce that crown and get that kind of going. Let me go ahead and grab myself um, some glue. Once I get that going, then I'll start working on the covers. Just in case I make a little gluey mess, at least I can cover it up with the covers and I won't have to worry about it so much. Yes, it is. And it's not a butterfly. It's not actually a butterfly, but when I saw the image itself, I was like, yes. This can definitely um, make a butterfly. Once you put them both together like this, I thought this can definitely make a butterfly. And then what I did is that I cut the first layer and then I cut the shadow because they, how these things work, um, most for most of them, you get a top layer, which is the one that has the intricate design. And then you also get a shadow, which is what you can place behind it. Um, and since the theme is like black and white and mm -hmm. kind of silver, I figured that this would be like perfect so I can go ahead and um, overlay that. And I don't even have to glue them together, but at least I can get them stuck like here so that there's um, a little bit of dimension and stuff going. So yay! It does all of these wonderful things. And I thought it was going to be so complicated to use, and it's really not. Um, I just needed to give myself some time to like really, you know, make errors. Because in making those errors is really that I learned a lot for, about the machine and how the machine works. Um, and yes, I kicked myself. I screamed. <laughs> and then I started talking all nice to the machine. Like, please, baby, please give me what I need. <laughs> and it's it. So now we're good. Now we're best buds. So, so far, so good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm going to shade these things up. I already distressed the edges so that I can remove some of that, um, you know, cut off of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of go over this with a little bit of black. Just so that I don't have uh, the cardstock being so, like, stark white. All of that inner core. Do you still use it? Because it seems to me that um, even though they have all of these new machines, the technology is pretty much the same. Um, at least if it takes the car the cartridges, I think all the cartridges, um, they pretty much still work. Because what I have is the expression, too. I don't have the new machine. I bought it off of Let Go. Um, I got it for like 50 bucks. So it was a really good deal. The lady wanted more, but luckily she was willing to bargain. And bargain, I did. <laughs> so I got it for like 50 bucks. Um, brand new, actually. She never used it at all. She must have had it in her storage. Um, she was an older lady. So um, she must have had it like in her storage for like ever, ever since she bought it. I mean, it even had the HSN receipt from when she was making the payments on it. So she had the machine forever, brand new. All the cardboard was still in place. It had tape everywhere. Brand new. Um, 
So I got lucky there. I got really lucky there. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And honestly, I don't know what the heck I was doing all this time without it. Just a few spots there. So let's see. I'm not really quite sure if I should um, incorporate some black lace into this or not. Maybe I'll go with some tool. Some tool or some lace. What do you guys think? Some tool or some lace? I don't know how much the lace itself is gonna show. I know I can get the tool to show, but I don't know how much the lace itself is gonna show. Lace is just so much prettier. I think I'm gonna go with the lace. And if that's the case, then I need to heat up my, I need to heat up my tool. I need to heat this baby up. The expression too. I think that's the one that came out right before they came out with the air, the, the, the Explorer or whatever. I have, and I've gotten lucky. I wanna, I wanna call it luck, because I don't know what else to call it. Um, I've gotten lucky with a few. I have right now so far, I have like four. I have like four and um, two of them came pre-installed in the machine. So I got like a set of fonts and I got some basic shapes. Nothing too wild, too crazy. But enough to get me playing when I first got it. Um, and now I have um, I have uh, one that's like, let me see. I have this one now which is the ornamental iron. This is the one where I got these shapes from. I got the butterfly shapes. Um, this is like all gated stuff. I don't know if you guys could see that at all, but it's got like all of these gated kind of designs on it. Super cool. I got this one, which is Victorian romance. I love this one, super nice as well. Um, I got this one, which is actually for Cricut Imagine, but this one actually didn't work on my machine, but luckily Cricut put it inside of my account. So until July, I still have access to use them. I have my pet peeves with it. I don't think I'll be investing in buying more of these cartridges for the, for the most part, because it only cuts out shapes. It doesn't give you none of the intricate details of the shapes themselves. It just cuts out the shapes. So it's like, yeah. Kind of not here, kind of not there. I also have um, this one, which is uh, sophisticated soirees, which also has kind of like um, lacy kind of style to it. That's the kind of stuff that I like. I like those lacy kind of, you know, things like this. <coughs> So, so far, I'm having a blast. It took me, it, I mean, I'm still learning. Obviously, I'm still learning. I'm not, by far, I'm no expert in this in this whole thing. But the biggest thing is, is figuring out the paper situation. Like, in my experience, recollection cardstock is not good for this machine at all. It's good for cutting solid pieces, but it's not good for cutting intricate pieces. Whenever I try to cut something that's intricate like this, it always gets jammed up, at least in one corner or another. It always kind of crinkles it, like it's caught somehow. So it's something to do with the fibers of that paper. I think they're too soft for, you know, the way that, that machine actually cuts. So it does a good job with solid shapes. It'll cut out solid shapes just perfectly fine because like the backs of what I'm gonna use for the butterflies, those are cut, um, recollections. And it cut these out pretty good. It did a good job with cutting out the solids, but Whenever I've tried to cut something intricate, I always end up disappointed. It doesn't matter what color paper I've used. I've tried all the different colors. 
that I have. It is just like, uh -uh. yes, they would, they would. And what's really good about, especially that, that kind of a project is that you can actually set the size for what you want, um, you know, for what you need, the, the pockets to measure. So that actually might actually really work out really, really well for you. Let's see, I think, I think this should be good enough. This should be good enough. Um, not really. Like I'm not into like getting the fancy gadgets just because they're fancy gadgets. It took me this long to get this machine. So I, I will wear this tucker out so I can no longer use it. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll get another machine that does exact same thing. I actually do like this. I I, I can appreciate the, the, the whole aspect of the scan and cut. I, you know, I can appreciate that, you know, you scan your images and then it kind of cuts it out for you. I can appreciate that, but you always, you have to find the stuff for it to do. So you have to, either way, you still have to find the stuff for it to, you know, cut out, so on and so forth. I mean, out of all the other machines, if I was to get something, I might get something. I, if I was to switch over, I might end up going towards that because since I draw and I can make my own designs, that would probably work out really well for me. Um, but I'm not, in, I'm not in any rush. I'm not in any rush at all. I am loving this situation right now. And as long as I can use it and I can get what I need out of it, then I'm good to go. And I really like the, like the cartridges that I have are more or less specific to my needs. Um, and I love the fact that I can create these types of designs and incorporate them like into my mixed media. So I'm really, really looking forward to creating some mixed media canvases and stuff like that where I can use, you know, I can use this um, into that. So that'll be the next kind of project that you see out of me are mixed media projects where I create some of these dimensional die cuts and just really go to town. Really, really go to town. That's that's really what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> me being able to do this paper crafting stuff is just a bonus. I really want to incorporate it into my art. That's really what I'm looking forward to. Getting myself a finger protector. And I need my stylus if I can find one. Uh, I'll use I'll use this for now. Thank you, thank you. It'll be here soon. It'll be here soon. Once I get this project under the way, all finito. I try not to make it such a long process, but unfortunately, I didn't have much success in that. That happens sometimes with me. I aim one way and it comes out another. So I'm gonna fold this kind of inward like so, just so that I don't have um, that rough ends kind of sticking out. Kind of just holding it in place there. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna loosely kind of put this in there. I don't wanna make it too, um, I think I'm just gonna kind of loosely put it in and just kind of get those in there like so. Let's see how that'll work. Who? So just kind of folding it over and kind of loosely um, having that. I don't want it to be like all symmetrical. I want it to be a little bit wonky looking kind of to represent the style of the album itself. So I'm just really putting one dot there because this is gonna be sandwiched between, um, so I'm kind of just folding that over like so. Just kind of pinning it there together. I have to try to get this as high as possible so that it actually shows 
because this lace is not too it's not too thick it's kind of thin out so we'll see we'll see how that kind of looks hi marcia how are you darling thanks for joining us So you guys can see there is a little bit of rippling going on, but nothing too major, nothing too major. I want to keep this nice and simple and not waste um, too much glue doing it. This is more or less for like a peekaboo effect than anything else. Oh. Plus, I dislike hot glue immensely. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with hot glue, honestly. I really do. Because it just tends to show itself when you don't want it to be seen. Like, it lets everybody know, hey, you guys, guess what? She used hot glue today. You don't believe me? Look, see, 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 I'm everywhere. <laughs> so, yes. Me and hot glue have a love-hate relationship. So I'm going to just fold this over like I did the other end and just kind of make that um, not really visible right there. All right, so... My crown has this wonky little hairdo going. Okay. But we're glad to have you. Yes, we are. So this is the side that's going to go on here. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and just hot glue a little bit here. Now, like I mentioned in my other video, I am going to be giving this away. So one of you lucky ladies will be winning this. And anybody that's active today in the, well, that's been active so far in the things, you guys are going to get an extra entry point for each one of the chats that you've been active on. And I will do a sped up version of this video, just in case anybody didn't get to catch the live, because um, I want to be fair and give everybody a chance. So I'm going to do a sped up version of this video and whoever um, ends up commenting on the sped up versions, whoops, we'll get an extra entry. Well, we'll get an entry, you know, a regular entry um, into it as well. So this is going to be my crown for this. Hello, beautiful, you're back. Glad to have you, glad to have you. <laughs> so this is going to be my support for, um, for my crown. Because of the way that I did it, it's going to need something to kind of balance it out. Um, you also have the option of creating whatever shape crown you want and then just incorporating the pieces into your crown. Um, you know, right off the gate, so you don't have to fiddle with it like I did. Um, that's kind of probably a faster way of doing it. Plus, you probably have a little bit more control of what actually shows and what doesn't show. Um, I usually do things quite opposite. <laughs> when it's for my own personal crafting, I will just kind of go with whatever flow I'm in at that point, at that moment in time. And sometimes I end up taking the longer road and not necessarily the shortcut. So. This is backwards because this is the part that's going to show here. So just pretty much lifting up my laces because I know there's room back here. I tested it out. And what I did is I just pretty much just traced it. I took a piece of paper and then I'm do with this now <clears throat> is more or less just glue them in place. So I'm going to just kind of just glue it right as it is right there.
so that this is not kind of moving around in there. That's kind of what I'm doing with that. Need another handy dandy glue stick. So I think today's video will probably um, go through a lot quicker because we are at the final stages of the creation for this. Little glue hairs. Ugh. All right, so this is more or less what this is looking like. So you guys can see. So we have this situation going there. And everything is pretty much good to go. This is the back. So here you could even add, um, you know, the names or whatever you wish to add. You can do any kinds of embellishing on that that you wish. This is what it's going to kind of look like when it's all closed. So it, even that creates a peekaboo effect um, on it on own. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So happy. So happy you guys like it. I love it when you love it. And so I'm going to go ahead and distress the edges off my covers. These are going to be my covers for the inside of the album. I chose this polka dot paper because I was running out of options, <laughs> to be honest. <clears throat> I was running out of options with the black and the white and the gray. So this is not necessarily um, a black and white. It's more or less like a black and cream kind of color. So I'm just going to go around these edges real quick and um, got some glue here from where it was glued to on the paper pad. I'm just going to run this all around the edges. And you can actually leave this in because... It is a black and white theme. I mean, if you were gonna go for a black and white theme, you, you could actually get away with leaving that in. So we're gonna glue this in, and I'm not gonna use hot glue for that. I'm gonna use regular glue, regular adhesive. Regular old reliable. And I get myself a little flip it, flips, chocolate pretzel snack in between. Get some, get some sugar in me. Love these things. With my glue. Here we go. We have some Aileen's. <laughs> oh no, why? Chocolate pretzel? <laughs> yes. Isn't that delicious? Oh my goodness. I am one happy camper with some chocolate covered pretzels. I, I would if I could. And unfortunately, we don't even have smell vision yet. That would be awesome, right? To be able to just teleport, you know, anything through the camera lens. Like, here you go. Like they do in the movies. And you could just send anything anywhere at any time. That would be super cool. Hopefully one day we'll get there, right? So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna close this, make sure that that, um, that everything kind of aligns itself properly. So I'm just gonna make sure that that folds up and nothing is getting in the way of anything. So as it opens and closes, it doesn't jam itself up with the seam. So far, so good. So let's go ahead and do the other side while that kind of sets itself up. I know that would be awesome. The ability to just travel anywhere, you know, but hopefully they don't send you like a fax and you break down to little pieces <laughs> and you come out with a nose on your elbow and just, you know, things all over the place. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And they say I'm not a paper crafter. What? I be crafting with some paper, you guys. Put anything in front of me and I will craft you something, let me tell you. 
There is no limits to the imagination. As long as you are willing to try, you are a crafter. Doesn't matter what you have in front of you. So for all those naysayers, what do you think of these? <laughs> what do you think of these apples? So, beautiful, beautiful. This is why, you guys, you just have to keep pushing forward. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Because in everything you do, there's always a lesson to be learned. Yes, there is. Beautiful. Love it. Really, really nice. And I like um, the polka dotted covers on it. I think that really does um, kick it up a notch. And it also kind of implements a little bit of a different color because I did use um, some cream colored papers and just different things in there. So yay, time for another pretzel. <laughs> Hello, Crafting with I. Oh, Marsha, why do you say that? I don't know about nose and the elbow. That's a little sensitive, right? The nose is really, really sensitive. Then every time you blow your nose, you have to go like this and you might get tissue stuck. <laughs> well, Miss Jackie, if every time that you don't succeed, you throw it away, you're going to have a lot of garbage. So I say, if at first you don't succeed, Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> so now what are we doing? Oh, yes. We have to do the spine. We have to do the spine. So we need some papel. We need some paper for the spine, which I don't seem to have taken out. So interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What am I going to use for the spine? What kind of paper? Let's see, what do I have readily available? What do I have readily available? Let's see, this is the paper pad that I used originally, which is called um, Decor Noir, or Noir Negro. And I think I might go with this one, right? With something dark, just because um, it is going to be sitting on that side. So why put such stock white paper there? So let me see what I have that's dark that I can use. I don't want gold on it. This is mostly gold. Oh, thank you. Water break. Hello, Carrie Ann. How are you? So let's see. I think I'm going to go with this one. That'll do the trick. That kind of implements all the colors that I have in this album anyway. So that'll be pretty good. So I wrote myself some measurements here and I wrote three by eights, three eights. Well, it can be three by three eights by 10. So it can be three eights. So I, I must have cut off the other number somewhere and tucked it in. It must have been the rest of the. <laughs> so let's measure this baby again. Let's measure this baby again. And I'm going to use this side here. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it real quickly and grab myself a pencil and do that. So let's cut that strip out first and we'll measure again and then we'll get it all finalized. And then we'll get it all finalized. Where did I make my marking? Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Oh, let's see, let's see. Right over here. And let me make sure that I did this properly. So let me grab this again. Thankfully, I have a whole sheet of 12 by 12 so that I can always go back in and fix it. And yes, surprisingly enough, I did. I did do it right. 
I did. I did do it right. So let me go ahead and mark my little line again where my thing finished. And let's do this again. One more time is the charm. Hello, hello. And thank you for joining. So we have the next piece right here. The piece de la resistance. <laughs> Viva la crafts. <laughs> I just came up with that. Viva la crafts. It's probably written down somewhere though. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. All right, so let's glue this on. Let's glue this on. But before I glue it on, let me just go ahead and just, you know, kind of shade up those edges. And let me get a pet break because once you have one, you just can't get enough. One more time, what? <laughs> one more time, what, Johnny? Who? Me? Nah. Who said that? Who's starting gossip about me? I'm not crazy. I'm just self entertaining. That's all. That's what that is. I just have that, that ability to entertain myself. So when somebody says you crazy, you tell them, no, it's just that you're boring. <laughs> yes. You have to have a little bit of fun in life. Because life always tries to have fun with you, right? So you got to try to have fun with life, in life, within life. So let's see. I didn't darken my edges. I did all that distressing and put the glue and bypass the critical, the critical darkening of the edges. Yeah. But I have to get my fingers dirty, which I don't mind but I just don't want to get the back of this dirty. So we'll see. I got it. I got it. I got it. Did my glue dry? Let's just refresh that glue. We have to spice things up sometimes in life, you know? Find ways to keep yourself entertained. Okay, so this kind of make sure that this kind of glues itself out well. And we are good to go. We are good to go here. All right, all right. So while this is kind of setting itself up and doing its magic, let's go ahead and make some butterflies. Yes. Let's make some butterflies. All right, so let me kind of put this down here. And let's see. I have a couple sets of these. Let me get one of these. I'm surprised that they're not melted with this heat that we have going on. Okay, so let me get some of these. So I cut out some shadows that are going to go behind um, the butterflies. I'm only going to glue them on the backs. So... I'm gonna do the hot glue for that. Let's see. I have to make sure which way. See, they don't go. They, oh, it, it do go. Okay, it do go. All right, it goes. <laughs> and I'm not gonna um edge up the butterflies. I'm gonna leave them be. 
I'm gonna leave those butterflies be. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right there. And I'm gonna seal this up. So I'm gonna do these first and then I'll start, you know, making it, putting it together. A little bit of embellishments, just a little bit. I have to see which is the way that they kind of go. And then I think I'm gonna just make a few of these because they're kind of large. I wanted them actually to cut out smaller, but I didn't adjust the size. I just kind of let it do what I wanted to do. I should have adjusted the size and made like little small versions of it, but that's all right. It's okay. This will do. Let's see. This way. This way. This way. Yeah. I think so. How? It's kind of. Janet, what you doing? What you doing, Janet? And as you guys know, I mean, just because I'm doing this like this doesn't mean that you have to decorate yours in the exact same way. You guys can have any kind of fun you want with yours. Do all different kinds of fun things. Embellish them in any way, shape, or form that you would like. That will work. Oh, you're yeah, laundry. Hello, Janice. You're doing laundry. Well, at least I get to keep you company while you're doing that, right? <laughs> get to keep you company. So let's see. So we're almost done. Then we'll see how I'm going to glue these babies on there. So just trying to align it. Oh yes, laundry is like one of those things that we never, we never ever stop doing it, right? It's like the never ending chore, just laundry. The never ending chore. Okay, so we got this. All right. All right, so I got some of those going. And let's see how I'm gonna do this, cause sometimes the plan is a lot better than the execution, right? Sometimes the plan sounds awesome. And then when you go execute it, you're like, what the heck was I thinking, why? Okay, so I, I'm missing one. Oh, I'm missing a butterfly. Where's the other little silver thing? Okay, well, I'll put that over there. So I have I have a few. I have enough. So I'm pretty much just gonna overlay this. Like so. I'm wondering if I do this. If I do this, kind of fold this back. How would that look? Hmm, do I want that? Do I want that? No, I don't. I don't want that. Okay. Just testing it out. Testing it out. <laughs> yes. We all have, we all have some type, some type, some type of laundry. We all have some type of laundry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see what I wrap around here. Maybe I'll add, um, maybe I'll wrap something around this here. We'll see. We'll see what I do. I'm not sure yet. Right now, I'm just going to glue this baby down. 
and keep them there. Keep them there. But these look really cute, right, for butterflies? Like, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. I think that will work. And let's see. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So Doo -doo -doo. kind of holding these together. I am loving this machine, you guys. This could even be like a bow tie. <laughs> depends on the occasion, depends on the occasion. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to you so you can use it. Or if you want, I'll cut you some shapes. You just got to let me know. You got to let me know. Thank you. Okay. Ours is she has the expression and I have the expression too. So it's the machine that came out before mine. But her machine is awesome too. It does exactly the same thing. The only thing that changes is the body. And it's different. But it's just the same thing. And I'll be honest with you. If I would have had the option to have hers, I probably would have chose to have hers because everything is a little bit different. How her machine looks and how, it, you know, how it looks and how it does, like how it has everything positioned. I would have probably preferred hers than having to be here with a stylist. I'm half blind, you guys. I wear glasses. And I'm here with a stylist, like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> So if I don't turn on the lights in my house, it's a done deal. I won't be able to see nothing. All right, so I got those done. Now with this, like I said, I wanted to, I want to add, um, maybe I'll do that, add that on the pockets themselves. So um, I cut out two pieces because my original, my original idea, my original idea was to put this on the inside like that, like a, Kind of like an overlay, but it covers up a lot of the polka dots. So I'm going to cut this in half because luckily it, ha it comes to like a point right here. So I could just cut that straight away. So I'm going to cut that in half and I'm going to make like little pockets for the covers. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to embellish the pockets with the butterflies. And I think that that'll look super cute. And then I'll finish embellishing those. And whatever stuff I have left over, I'll tuck here, I'll tuck there. And we'll be pretty much done, you guys. We'll be pretty much done. So try to level it. So I have two. Let me see how this looks. Let me see how this looks. Because if I don't like it this way, then I'll cut the other one the long way and see how that kind of looks. Um, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. My machine is all but I'm having. Yes. We're having a blast with our machines. Yes, we are. And it is good technology, Johnny. It does the job. It does the job. And that's really what matters at the end of the day is that it does the job. Right? As long as we get our... our you know, our stuff cut out, it's doing the job. We're learning a lot from it, right? So we'll be ready for the 2025 version whenever it gets here. <laughs> By the time we're done with it. Um, I'm using the iron, um, it's called iron something. I put it away. Oh, wow. Yes, 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 yes. We are loving, loving, loving our machines. We are loving, loving, loving our machines. 
We are loving, loving, loving. We are loving, loving, loving. We are loving, loving, loving our machines. <laughs> so maybe some lace. Um, I'm going to cut the other one long ways. I think I like, I think I'm going to like this long ways instead of that short way. Make it a little bit different. I'm going to cut it straight across. Thank God I cut out two of them. Not mine. My expression doesn't have any hack. At least not software wise. Um, I looked because I am good with software and with stuff like that. So I was trying to figure out, um, ways to do it. For the ones that came before, there are, but not for mine specifically. Thank you. Isn't it? So I'm going to do this. And I think I like this style better for the inside um, to create like a pocket, like a little pocket area. I'll create like a little pocket area on um, on the inside of that. Uh, yes, I think like that. And then we'll have um, the beautiful butterfly kind of here somewhere. And then that'll just be like a little pocket to keep, um, you know, some kind of keepsake or, you know, something or the other. I won't need, I don't think I'll need any lace for this, right? Will I? Will I would it look better with lace? Let's see. Would it look better with lace? Maybe I'll put the lace across it. Mm. I don't feel like it's a must. I think it looks kind of cute like that on its own as well. So I, now that I have this, I'm going to use these. Let me finish decorating these butterflies. And um, I also have these. I can use the butterflies in other places. I also have, um, I have these two other shapes. I just didn't do no backing for them. I didn't do no shadows for these. This is just regular. Yeah, I think I'll go with the butterfly. The butterfly I created the backings for them. So the butterflies look a little bit better. They stand out a little bit better. Hello, Isabel. Yes, please. Thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> I'm like the cookie monster. Feed me more. <laughs> so let's see. What do we have? The butterflies, yes. Let's finish um, embellishing these beautiful butterflies. And I think with the butterflies, what I will do is, let's see what it looks like with a little bit of tool wrapped around it. Let's see what, what it looks like. If I add a little bit of toolage. Let's add a little bit of toolage, you guys. Let's play, let's play, let's play with some fabrics. Let's see. Let's play with some fabrics and see. Let's see what it looks like. So. We can make it so that the tool itself is like the antennas. I'm just glue that there. How do I like that? Do I like it? Mm. Do I like it? Mm. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What do you guys think? With the tool up. With the tool up, like that. With the tool kind of out, down, like that.
I don't know. Kind of like it with the tool up. Right? All right. So let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. So let me cut out a few more pieces of this about the same length so I'm not going crazy. I only need two for now. So I'll just get myself another little bunch. Another little bunch of tool. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna pull these things apart so that I oh I like my edges on my my tool ripped for some reason. I love the distressed look of the tool when it's like all beat to heck. I don't like the straight edges much. I'm not one for straight edges too much. I mean they tend to happen naturally when you're creating stuff, but I try to avoid straight edges as much as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna start at the back. Move this plastic out of the way. So I'm gonna start right here and get this kind of on there. And I'm gonna wrap it up in the front. Where's my finger hat? Oh, here it is. Found it. Found it. Add some trim, like lace trim. Like some of this. Oh, that might actually work. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, thank you. That might actually work. I'll just add a bit in between so that um, it just has like a little bit of lace on there, kind of poking up between the tool. I think that'll make it fancy. Right? Does that look fancy? Fancy it up. Oh my goodness. Me like it so much. All right, so I'm gonna twist this up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. I'm gonna grab this like really, really quickly and I'm just gonna twist it up. If I can't, while the glue's still hot, pull that down, but not too far out. I'm gonna just twist that up. Twist it up and let it kind of set up. So that's pretty much what I did. I just twisted it right there. Then I'm going to kind of do this like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to try not to use too much glue for um, putting down the lace, though, because... This glue shows. It doesn't show up clear. So, boom. Boom, boom. And I'm going to have to trim up my little thing here because they're not the same size and that drives me crazy. It's funny. I don't like straight lines, but I need my things to be even. <laughs> okay. So, that looks a little bit better. Oh, me like it, the fancy butterfly. Fancy, fancy butterfly. <laughs> So this looks pretty cute, a little wonky, but so far it'll, it'll do the job. It'll do the job. Once I glue it down, I think that I can get that tool to really do what I want it to do. Let me just kind of wonky it out a little bit. Just stretch some of those little fibers out and really get that looking pretty. All right, so let's get on to the next one. I don't want to spend 15 hours <laughs> playing with the butterfly. Hello, Lynn. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. We're having some butterfly fun right now. And so now we're going to do the next one. And I'm going to go ahead and just add some glue back here and repeat the process of adhering the back to this first. I got my little finger hat. I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna need a little bit of lace.
that I'm going to be using right there. Hopefully, I cut myself enough out. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to add this in there for now. Then I'm going to add a little bit of glue here at the neck, the neck area of what the butterfly would be. And then I'm just going to twist that in place. I'm going to twist that up. Let that glue really grab onto that tool. It's a little warm under my fingers, but not too bad. Yes, you can. Oh, I know you're going to do all kinds of wonderful things once you have this in your hands. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know. I know. Remove some of that uneven toolage. Now we have our lace. I'm going to fold it over. Try to get a little bit more centered. Fold it over. How come this one looks almost a little bit better than the other one? <laughs> Why does that happen? They never look the same. Oh, I just put glue all the way across that thing. All right. So let me bring this one over. Fold it closed. Oh, I got a little bit of glue on that. It's okay, because I'm going to probably add um, some flat backs or something to that just to beautify the body up a little bit. So hopefully that won't show too much. Because one thing that is really, really hard to do is to get hot glue out of tool. It will easily peel off of most fabrics. The tool, for some reason, it traps it like honey and forget about that. Forget about that afterwards. So let's open these things up now that we have this going. And I think this looks really, really cute. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of dribble on this one. I feel like doing another one because that really drives me crazy. Well, let's see. Maybe I get lucky. Fingers crossed. Maybe I get lucky and I can remove it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try to get it out. Yay! Woohoo! All your positive vibes help me to get the glue out. <laughs> Good night. Bye. Well, I'm glad you found me, Lynn, and I'm glad you're here. So now we have our beautiful little butterflies. I'm going to go ahead and get myself some little flat back something or the other. Let's see what I have here. Let's see what I have here. I might have something that I can add, maybe some little flat back pearls or something to this. Let's see what's in my little my little stash. Hmm. How about a little rose? Oh, I like that. I like the little rose on the butterfly. I like that. But let's see what else we can find. Just in case I like something else just a little bit more. Let's see where we go from here. Let's get out the bling. Let's get out the bling. Let's see. Oh, this is what's going to go on the back of my album. I forgot about that completely. <laughs> I forgot about that completely, you guys. From when I was working on it last week. Let's see. Okay, so I found some white ones. And I think this will work nicely. So what do you guys say? The rose? Or some, I think that the flat backs will look actually a little bit nicer on here. So I would need about three. Let's see. Let's test it out. Where's my scissor? There it is. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. And let's see. Let's see how this kind of looks. Let's see how this kind of looks with the three. The three little pearls. You guys always steer me in the right direction. So what do you think? 
with the pearls, with the with the little rose. I think the pearls look nice, right? I kind of like. I'm feeling. The, I'm feeling the pearly vibes. I think I'm going to go with the pearls. Yes, Marsha, we're here. We're here, Marsha. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to bring it up all the way up because I want it to have a little bit of a body towards the bottom. I don't want it to be like completely covered. And um, I think I think that works well for me. So yay. Yay, yay, yay. All right. So let's go ahead and adhere these to this but before i do that i'm going to glue this in here so that i don't have to struggle extra hopefully i won't have to struggle any extra and these pockets will look just amazingly beautiful in there let me put this to the side let me dock my little glue gun here off to the side as well i have my handy dandy glue put some of these things to the side should I edge this up, you guys, or leave it as it is? I think I'm going to edge it up. I think it'll just give it more of a complete look. So I'm going to edge it up. I'm just going to edge it up a little bit. And let's do this one. Don't have to be so rough with it. Just a gentle caress along the edges of the paper are enough to open up its fibers. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to just grab my ink. I'm not so much worried about perfection, you guys. I just wanted to just have a little something, something there. Just a little something, something. And that's it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. Because you can't get all the little nooks and crannies when you're working with such um, edged paper. It's got such intricate little edges. Hello, Sasson. I'm sorry I pulled myself away from the camera. It's just a habit of mine to have my projects in my face when I'm working with them. I don't know if you guys do that too. But I always have things like right in my face whenever I'm working, especially when I'm working like paper crafts and stuff like that. And I always tend to like, I tend to forget that I'm like in front of a camera and I have to bring my projects outward. Um, so I do apologize if I get myself out of frame every now and then. All right, so let's add... Um, Let's add the first one. So this is going to be really, really simple pockets, you guys. We're just going to glue here, glue here. We don't need to make it a straight line. A little dot here, a little dot here, and right along that edge. That should be more than enough to hold it in place. Um, so just a little bit here, a little bit here. If it was a straight edge, I would tell you, you know, go along the whole straight edge. But since um, it's kind of curvy... We want to have as much room as possible to add, you know, the biggest dimension of whatever it is that we can add in here. So we don't need to go that far with it. And I'm just going to edge, line this up directly to my fold. And just to make sure that it's not going to interfere, I am going to fold this over just one more time. And just run my little bone folder here and there so that I have that. I love. It's, it looks like a skeleton leaf. I love how that flower looks. Whoever was the artist that took the photographs for this paper pad, beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful job. All right, so 
let's see. I think we're gonna do this like so. And for this, I am gonna go ahead and hot glue the butterfly itself onto here. So I'm gonna try to find its center, which is like right here. And I'm not gonna glue the butterfly, I'm gonna glue this because I don't wanna put too much glue and then I end up closing up my envelope. So I'm just gonna add a little bit right here. And I'm gonna hold my tool up, line this baby up, and just hold it in place for a few seconds. I will be having the part two if I haven't put it up yet, I don't think I did. Um, I already did what I had to do with that. So I'm going to do the part two. I'll download today's live version sometime today or tomorrow. And during the week, I'll put up part three, which is the final part. Um, so that you guys can come back and comment on that one so that you can get your extra entry. And then within a couple days after that, I will come back and do the giveaway drawing for this album. So if this is the first time you're watching this and you had no idea I was giving this thing away... Hurry up and go check out the videos. Today is June the 2nd. So just in case you're watching this sometime in the future, um, you know, if you're in August of 2018, you passed. It passed already. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Um, but as long as you're still within the month of June, there's a good chance that you might catch it. There is a good chance that you might catch it. So that's the first one. I'm going to let that kind of set up a little bit. I'm loving how that's looking before I even fiddle with it. I'm going to leave that alone. I am going to go back into those pearls, though, and just reinforce them a little bit because, I don't know, it doesn't feel so safe to me. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I've already edged this up. Do the same thing with the glue and just um, add a little bit on each of the bubbles. I call them bubbles, but they're not bubbles. Um, and then right along this edge right here. We just want to create this um, pocket area. Make sure that it doesn't interfere with the folds. Spreading that glue out, making sure everything kind of tacks into place. Finding its center and gluing my butterfly if I can find it. Did you fly away? Okay, here we go. <laughs> so we're going to find the center for this pocket as well. And then we're going to add our butterfly. And the center is right around here somewhere. So I'm just going to glue right on there. I'm going to hold my tool up so that I don't glue my tool down. And I'm going to place that right on top of that. Hopefully I got it straight away. So I'm gluing it at an angle. So hopefully I got it okay. There's a lot of glue hairs everywhere. And then just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and add some pearls around there, some scattered pearls. Yes, your prize got lost in the mail, in the mail, not your giveaway. Your prize got lost in the mail, never arrived. Which really sucks. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marsha. So I'm just going to add some decorative little pearls here and there. Just to kind of, you know, spice it up a little bit. Amazing that you could do this out of envelopes, right? Out of a pasta box and envelopes. What? What? <laughs> Who would have thought? I don't want these pearls coming off, so I'm going to go into with just a little bit of hot glue. Just to hold it in place so that it doesn't go anywhere. A pasta box and some envelopes.
<laughs> well, unfortunately, you know, not everybody does things with the best of intentions. You know, just like any other community, we have all kinds of people. And, you know, it's sad, but it's true. Sad, but true. And I'm the person that I love to give away my stuff. Things that I make, I love I love to give it away. That's one of the things that I do the most is give away the things that I create. It's like at least every other month I'm giving away my stuff. Yes. Sometimes that's exactly what they're doing. Did I put one in the center? No, I didn't. Okay, I don't need to put one in the center. Sometimes that's exactly what they're doing. And like I said, it's a shame. It really is. But you live and you learn, you know? You live and you learn. Okay. So I got that going. Oh, my God. This thing is looking gorgeous. I gotta put that thing up there a little bit more, but I gotta glue that there a little bit more. That's driving me crazy. <laughs> That's very crazy. Let me see how the other one looks. Did the other one have that issue? No, the other one's perfectly fine. Why is it that your right hand has to be just a few centimeters bigger than your left hand? And whenever you glue something, you never glue it straight. It's always like this. It's always like this. <laughs> Why does that always happen? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. So I'm just going to tuck this in here, but just because this little bit, this little itty bit of lace that is kind of off, kind of off balance is just driving me just a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And even though this is going to be belong to somebody, you know, it's not going to be for me to keep, but I wanted to kind of look the way I want it to look. So we just know. That'll be better. I just want the, the ribbon to point in the direction that I need it to point. Like don't go just doing whatever you want to do. This is not that kind of party. Okay, so let's see. So we got that going. And just to make sure that my envelope is working. Yay, we can tuck something in here. You can add a photo. Um, pretty much whatever you want to tuck in there, you can tuck in there. So, so far, so good. I really like that. I love how it looks when you first open it. And remember, this is like a, I'm going to call it like a universal style because from the front or from the back, you're still good to go. Um, everything still looks more or less nice from either side. So either way that you want to display this, regardless if you want to display this in the front, or you want to display this in the front. Either way, when you open up the album, you're still good to go. I got some tool. And I love how that looks. That is like the perfect little touch. Oh, my goodness. My first official Cricut thing to do <laughs> is this butterfly right here. And so, yes. So now, let's see. I have a few bits and pieces, which I guess... Um, this is going to go on the bottom. I'm going to put this right on along here. But I also have another piece here that I cut out. And I'm going to share with you guys what that is because I might just be adding that to the bottom of this. If, it, if it'll fit. Hopefully it'll fit. Can I put this down? Let's see. I have this right here. Hopefully it's not too big. I'm hoping it's not too big. Okay. Can you guys stop hugging? Please. Thank you. Okay. Um, that will bend and stuff with time. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. So, so I finish it off with that. Let's see. And it's oddly enough that it's actually like the perfect size. Like, how does that even happen? 
<laughs> yes. That we do. That's what we should be doing anyways. That's what we should be doing. All right, so I'm going to ink this up. I think I'm going to add, what do you guys think? I add this um, polka dotted paper that I have as a piece of scrap that I have left over. And then I can mount this on there. But I don't know if I like the aesthetics of that silver on that dotted background. So I don't know. And that just looks too, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm having a dilemma here. Let's see. That's too too big, too big, too big. Hmm. Maybe I'll just use the dots. I'll just use the pearls. I have really big pearls here somewhere. Where in my box? I have really big pearls here somewhere that I can use as the little feet. Um, where that's gonna kind of stand. So I'm gonna get four of these. Yeah, I didn't like it either. I didn't like it either. Sometimes our, our thoughts get ahead of us, you know, they get too far ahead. So I don't really like how that kind of looks. So I'm just gonna go with some pearls for right now. And I'm just gonna add some pearls on each side of the box, not the box, the spine. Why did I say box? Because I'm thinking the little legs on the bottom of a box. That's why I said box. So I'm going to do this like so, because this is um, designed to be like a centerpiece for it to stand. Um, and that way you don't have to put it away, you know, like you can just leave it out as, as part of your display or whatever you have going on. And pretty much like so, so that's pretty much what I did. I'm going to leave it like little feet like that. Because I don't think you would want to put this on a shelf tucked that way anyways, right? This is the kind of thing you want to leave out. So I'm going to just do it like that. And then I guess the only last thing to do, let me cut this in half and see what I do with this. The only last thing to really do here, you guys, is create the little paper clips that are going to hold this book closed, okay? And once we do that, then we're pretty much... Finito, say la vie. Okay, so let me see. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's not gonna work. So we're pretty much done there. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create some paper clips that we're gonna use to clip the covers so that the books, the, the album itself stays closed. That way when you set it, it stays nice, um, you know, nice and still. So for that, I have some paper clips here. I'm gonna shut that off because I don't think I'm gonna need that anymore. I have some little white paper clips, which is what we're gonna use. And this is really, really simple to do. And it's just a good way of closing um, your albums up. I'm gonna grab myself some tool. And any kind of ribbon will work just fine. I'm gonna make some strips out of this. So I'm just gonna fold it over like so. And I'm just gonna cut some strips. And we pretty much just need four strips. Okay. Four strips. And you can use ribbon, elastic, anything that you have. Oh, thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you, thank you. If you haven't watched the beginning, um, I encourage you uh, to watch. I have a sped up version, so you don't have to go through the whole live stream. But I do have a sped up version that kind of shows you and I kind of go through the motion of how I created it. 
from beginning and now the end. So um, this is the part that we're going to clip onto the book. So all we have to do So pretty much all we're going to do is we're going to tie this and we're just going to knot this little piece right up. Very, very simple closure. We're just going to knot this up and leave it like so. We're going to do this to both and you have four paper clips because it's going to be one for each cover. one for each cover like so. And you could add bling to these things. You can, you know, you wanna add beads or whatever, or charms, you can do that. You can decorate your paper clips, you know, for your closures, however you wish to do so. I'm just gonna do it in a very simple kind of way. Yes. That is a wonderful accident. <laughs> and I find a lot of people like that to myself. Um, sometimes you don't know who to watch or what to watch and you just end up bumping into some amazing crafters without even really trying to. That's the wonderful thing about YouTube. So right here we have one more to go. And what's awesome about using like, let's say a ribbon or tool or something like that to create this, is that you have an added embellishment without even really trying because the closures themselves, as long as they're on the books, um, on the covers, they'll add just an additional little element of something happening in the background. Well, thank you so much. So we have our closures here. Simple, simple, simple with scraps, with, with whatever you need. And all we're gonna do as you guys know, we have our covers. So we add one right here. You add another right there. And the final spot where you can add this one. And where's my other piece? It went flying, I found it. And then you add your other one there. So you have your closures. Then all you have to do is grab your ends. Where did it go? It's right here. <laughs> you grab your ends, tie them together, make a bow. And if your clips get out, just put them right back in. You could also make the bow beforehand. Okay. Stay still, stay still. Don't put so much force on them and that's what I was doing as you are tying them together. This is just to kind of keep them closed. Pretty simple and peachy. Yes, not too invasive. Just in case you forget to punch that hole in or, um, you know, do anything else like that. Then you can always say, voila, paper clips. Yes. And there you go. And that pretty much allows your book to stay stable. It allows your album to be stable. Your covers are not gonna flip back and forth. Um, it provide, it just adds a cute little something, something here on the edges. Now remember this book is really dimensional because it's got things coming out of all angles. So you could work with that. You can also do the same thing um, 
with the little butterfly ones. So you can grab the little butterfly ones and just add your tool or whatever it is to the ends. Um, and then you can also close it up that way. So you don't have to necessarily use paper clips if you don't want to. You can also use the butterfly clips and that'll work just as well. And here we have it, you guys. This is what we came up with. And it stands up all on its own. And you can use this for a center display or anything like that. And I'm really trying to, uh, let's see. I want to add one more thing here, if I may. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. Let's see, let's see. Yes, I like that. I got some bits and pieces that are left over from when I cut out my butterfly. And I just want to cover up this little space right here that I just noticed that was still visible. And I have some pieces left over um, from the, the die cutting itself that I did. So I'm going to add this cute little embellishment right here. Well, I'm going to make it a cute embellishment after I'm done with it. <laughs> and I'm going to add that right there. So I'm going to glue these things together, actually, and add that in. Okay, give it back to me. I need it. So I'm going to do something like this, more or less, so that I can just kind of cover up. There's like a little black space right there that I, I it's not sitting too well with me right now. So hopefully my glue gun is still hot enough. Is it? Did I shut it off for too long? Nope, I did. I shut it off for too long. So just give my glue gun a few minutes because I do want to do it with the glue gun. I don't want to do it with double-sided tape because I think it'll just pop right off. And then that way I can just kind of incorporate that in there and just add the little, cover it up. And that's what's good about these little things like this. You can save them. It's got a lot of little fun shapes that you can save and use for whatever you like. You got a whole bunch of little odd little shapes. These are all the little um, negatives from the negative spaces when I did the, the cricket. My name, no. My name is Carmen. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate the thumbs up. So just give me my glue gun a, a minute. So hopefully it warms up rather quickly. I have an extra butterfly, which I guess I'll, I'll be putting in there as, you know, part of the giveaway so that I don't lose anything. Nobody loses anything. And I'll add the rest of the other butterflies. So they're going to get two additional butterflies in here. I still have a piece left over. I have this piece left over so I can make an additional butterfly. And hopefully, this will be done quickly. There we go. Good job. Good job, Blue. Good job. So I'm just going to kind of offset them just a little bit like so. Create a little bit of a curvature. And I'm going to go in here and just kind of tuck it in. I just want to cover up. That little area right there so i'm going to use it like a makeshift kind of clasp just to kind of cover up that area there so i'm going to just put a little bit of glue right here this is really all that i need i'm going to clip it here kind of clip it there there we go i'm going to glue that right there just so that that doesn't show now it doesn't show now i feel so much better <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so, so much. And I so look forward to next week when I'll finally get back to my mixed media art. And I don't know what I'll do, but you know how it all goes, you guys. We'll figure it out as we do it together. As usual, having lots of fun along the way and lots of laughs because that's just how we get down over here. So I like this a lot. I think that looks really pretty. It just adds like a little bit, I don't know, a little touch. It looks a little bit like a mustache, but <laughs> that's okay. So this is more or less what we have. This is the completed 
final, finally completed album. We put some little flat back pearls in the bottom just so that it has something to rest on when you have it standing up. We've completed the inside of the covers. This is the back, which we know the envelope itself does open. So we do have a functioning envelope on the back. I left it open. I was going to close it, but I left it open. So you can add something there as well. We have the cute little paper clips, but you don't have to take them both off. You could just take off one and open up your album. We have fully functioning pockets. You can add anything that you want to this area here. I mean, you can add your name, your initials, you know, add little small photos here. I mean, you can add anything you want. You can add photos to the back of these as well. This is the reason why I didn't decorate the backs and I leave them open, the backs of the envelopes. You have fully functioning envelopes throughout the whole entire album with many, many opportunities for adding photos or anything that you like, really. You can add anything that you like. You can literally save letters in here that you've got from friends, family, loved ones, whatever the case may be, or you can you know, add other things to it. So this is what we have, you guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, three-part series for creating the Exploding Love Letters Stack album. Yes, it's a long one, you guys. Um, but we'll figure it out moving forward, how to make this name a little shorter, a little shorter. Um, but yes, I guess my name is. Thank you, FBA. So with that being said, you guys, I want you to all enjoy the rest of your Saturday. It was somewhat of a short one today. I will be back with you guys next Saturday at 6 p.m. In the meanwhile, be on the lookout for the sped up versions of this video so that you guys can go ahead and leave your comments. And hopefully you'll watch the video just so that you can get a refresher. Um, and I'm going to usually have some kind of questions or something like that throughout the video for you to answer in the comment section down below so that you can be answered to win this. So with that being said, have an awesome night. God bless you all, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.